11, and we're going to talk about the shapes of molecules. And the shapes of molecules are largely dictated by what's called valence shell electron pair repulsion theory. And basically, uh, <laughs> chemistry, right? Uh, the theory uh, name tells you exactly what the theory is about. So the um, valence shells, electron pairs, so those are the electrons that we've been putting into the Lewis structures, repulse or repel each other and will therefore want to be as far apart from as possible from other electron pairs. So our guiding principle here is that the electron pairs just want to be as far as possible away from each other. And then one other guiding principle is that we're only going to be doing this for central atoms. There are ways to do it for outside atoms and to think about it for outside atoms as well, but we won't need that for our discussion. So uh, I'm going to define a term. Uh, this is specific to my class, although I know some other classes use this. It's an electron group. And here we go. Each electron group around an atom is in its lowest energy state when it is as far as possible from other electron groups. Now, one electron group is a single bond. One electron group is a double bond. One electron group is a triple bond. And one electron group is a lone pair of electrons. And we can also call this a uh, non-bonding pair of electrons. Or just a pair of electrons, as we'll see. So, and for this theory and how we will determine shapes, so each of these things is equivalent. So a triple bond, which we might draw uh, let's see, for the cyanide ion, a triple bond is one electron group. And actually, so I showed you a triple bond, but let me show you one other thing. So we would only talk about um, the shapes for central atoms. So this one doesn't even have a central atom. It just has two end atoms. We're going to only be talking about this for central atoms. And in this regard, a triple bond is one electron group. So, so let's see this central atom and a triple bond is one electron group. And a single bond is one electron group. And so one electron group plus one electron group is two electron groups around this central atom. Central atom has two electron groups. And that's a little demonstration of the process of count what electron groups are and counting them.